Welcome back to What Was That? I'm Gabe Sanchez. Whenever Donald Trump goes into one of his tirades, he loves to whine about how tons of legal scholars from both sides says that he's right or that he's innocent, like Roe v. Wade. Especially since I was proudly the person responsible for the ending of something that all legal scholars, both sides, wanted and in fact demanded be ended. Roe v. Wade. They wanted it ended. Incorrect. Or with his current hush money payment trial. If you read all of the legal pundits, all of the legal scholars today, there's not one that I see that said this is a case that should be brought or tried. These are all stories. This is over the last few days from legal experts. This is Wall Street Journal editorial. But all of these are stories from legal experts saying how this is not a case. Incorrect. Uh, Jonathan Turley, Greg Jarrett, Andrew McCarthy. That would be the same Jonathan Turley who said there is no evidence to impeach President Biden. In fact, I do not believe that the current evidence would support articles of impeachment. Also, Trump has never read any of the articles that he's quoting. He even admits it himself. That's, that's a nice headline. I'd like to read that one, too. Those articles in Trump's orange-stained hands were printed out by his aide, Natalie Hart, who follows him around with a wireless printer to print out good news from the internet. This is a person whose entire life in some ways revolves around a sick and destructive desire for praise, as well as revenge against those who dare to say anything negative about him. That desire is so strong that he has an ever-present aide who reportedly follows Trump around with, and I'm quoting here because it's almost not believable, a wireless printer to provide him with an ongoing stream of good news from the internet. Presumably, she followed him to the bodega in Harlem yesterday after a long day in court, where it not be crazy to suspect that Trump's staff might have instigated these chants among the crowd. Yes, Harlem Bodega is infamous for the spontaneous Trump crowds that break out into four more year chains. So if you actually go through the stack of papers that Trump is reading, it's all op-eds from right-wing commentators like Steve Bannon, Charlie Kirk, Ben Shapiro, Mike Davis, and Trump's favorite, Tom Fitton, AKA the human embodiment of Thwomp from Mario. Tom Fitton, the president of Judicial Watch, is not a lawyer, I repeat, Tom Fitton is not a lawyer. The only thing to his name is a bachelor's degree in English from George Washington University. Now, why Fitton never became a lawyer or went to law school is unknown, but some might say he failed his LSAT more times than Lauren Boebert failed her GED. And like the fake lawyer that he is, Tom Fitton gave Trump advice via interviews on right-wing shows. I would take the position, I ain't no lawyer, but we've been fighting federal records uh, cases for 30 years at Judicial Watch that these are personal records. He took them with him as president, as his prerogative is. They're not classified. They're not presidential records. It's all a scam. I think the raid was a fraud, an abuse, and a sham. There was no good faith basis to target Trump here with this outrageous raid. And all those records he has are his records. And they should stop pretending that just because they think they're presidential records and they think it's classified, you know, that's the, that's, that's the final answer, and it ain't. It's whether or not a president or vice president has the right to take records with him when they leave the White House. And prior to the National Archives and the, and the Biden Justice Department deciding to change uh, precedent, uh, their prior position, and ignore the law and harass Trump, that was what uh, presidents could do. Trump has been listening to Fitton for some time now. Because he was ignoring his highly qualified White House lawyers, Pat Philbin, Pat Cipollone, Eric Hirschman. Instead, he was reportedly taking the advice of this guy. We want to know about the deep state effort to overthrow the president of the United States. You know, in many ways, it's remarkable the president is a crime victim. He was targeted illegally uh, 
by the Obama administration. If they doesn't want to fire Mueller directly, maybe just pardon everyone. Everyone caught up in it, either directly or indirectly, who's the subject, the target, you name it, just pardon it all. So that's a guy named Tom Fitton. He's like a second, third tier conservative activist, head of the right wing group of Judicial Watch. They've been around for forever. Somewhat ludicrous figure, honestly. I, I put him in the like Ginny Thomas category of the American right. Imagine a more senior James O'Keefe on steroids. As Politico puts it, Fitton has made a career of suing the federal government over suspected bureaucratic corruption, irritating every president since Bill Clinton. That's true. In fact, Fitton's organization has tormented the Clintons for nearly 20 years, uncovering documents on their scandals du jour, from Whitewater to Travelgate to the suicide of Vince Foster. So he's been at this a long time, basically a right-wing rabble-rouser, but he found an enthusiastic booster in Donald Trump. Surprise, surprise. Now, this is uh, faded, as it were, considering Fitton has been boosting Trump for years. He actually takes credit for being one of the first public figures to criticize the Mueller investigation. It's corrupt and unconstitutional. If you did a search for Tom Fitton, you would probably find him doing cosplay bodybuilder poses like this, and like this, and like this, and even like this. It's weird and really creepy. Who knows, maybe Tom Fitton is hoping that one of Elon's ass and bio Twitter bots will date him. Fitton can also be found posting videos online where he's trying to flex for the camera while pretending to be a lawyer. What is with that emo starting position? Hey everyone, Tom Fitton here, president of Judicial Watch. I was just reading some documents while listening to My Chemical Romance, Trump 2024. It almost looks like he's trying to do an impression of Robert De Niro. Man, the more I look at Finn, the more I realize he's a poster child of why you should not take steroids. And I don't know what lifestyle Finn lives, but it does not seem healthy. Speaking of which, if you want to live a healthy lifestyle, then you gotta check out today's sponsor, Field of Greens. Field of Greens is the healthiest thing I do every day, and I want you on this journey with me. It's literally one scoop a day. It tastes great, and I personally like the strawberry lemonade flavor, and it's completely improved my life. This is nutrition the way nature intended. Field of Greens personally gives me way more energy to get through my day. I've also noticed that my skin and my hair are way healthier too. It's helped with my digestion and I just feel better and healthier overall. Each organic fruit and vegetable was medically chosen to support heart and vital organ health. I trust Field of Greens to keep me healthy. I promise you're gonna love this product, but if for any reason you don't, they'll give you a 100% money back guarantee. I got you 15% off your first order plus free rush shipping. Visit fieldofgreens.com and use promo code GABE. That's promo code GABE at fieldofgreens.com, fieldofgreens.com. But most recently, Fitton responded, or should I say posed, for one of Trump's rants. My son is graduating from high school, and it looks like the judge will not let me go through the graduation of my son who's worked very, very hard. Uh, he's a great student. He's very proud of the fact that he did so well. And was looking forward for years to have a graduation with his mother and father there. And it looks like the judge isn't going to allow me to escape this scam. It's a scam trial. If you read all of the legal pundits, all of the legal scholars today, there's not one that I see that said this is a case that should be brought or tried. It's a scam. It's a political witch hunt. It continues and it continues forever. And we're not going to be given a fair trial. It's a very, very sad. So just to paint a picture here, Tom Fitton is upset that Donald Trump is upset that he can't go to his son Barron's graduation, which he was never going to go to in the first place. Just so you know, Judge Mershon has not ruled on it yet, so this would just be Trump and his fellow coup plotters crying over a lie. Also, if you just watched that clip of Fitton and thought, wait, why is actor Nathan Lane next to a video of Trump, you wouldn't be far off. Whatever I am, he made me. I was adorable once, young and full of hope. Now, look at me. I'm this short, fat, insecure, middle-aged thing. Tom Fitton looks like he's doing an impression of Steve Buscemi, doing an impression of a teenager. How do you do, fellow kids? Now, some of you might remember Fitton from the Jan 6 hearings where one of his emails got exposed. As you can see, the draft statement, which was sent on October 31st, declares, we had an election today and I won. 
and the Fitton memo specifically indicates a plan that only the votes counted by the election day deadline, and there is no election day deadline, would matter. Everyone knew that ballot counting would lawfully continue past election day. Claiming that the counting on election uh, night must stop before millions of votes were counted was, as we now know, a key part of President Trump's uh, premeditated uh, plan. On election day, just after 5 p.m., Mr. Fitton indicated he'd spoken with the president about the statement. Sending along again, just talk to him about the draft below. Again, this uh, plan uh, to keep, um, uh, to declare victory was in place before any of the results had been determined. Tom Fitton was pushing a plan before the election for Trump to declare victory regardless of the outcome of the vote. And I've gotten into several arguments with Tom Fitton over this very email in Twitter Spaces. So somewhere between me calling him out in front of thousands of people on Twitter Spaces over this very email and saying that he buys his shirts three sizes too small, he blocked me. Such a Republican move, act tough and then run away at the first sign of facts. But honestly, I think we should all be thanking Tom Fitton because if it weren't for him, Trump would not have been indicted for stealing classified documents. Since as early as February, Fitton has been reporting we've been calling Trump, telling him it was a mistake to give the records from Mar-a-Lago in the National Archives, that his team should have never let the archives, quote, strong arm into returning them. Fitton said the records belong to Trump, citing a 2012 court case involving his organization that he said gave the former president authority to do what he wanted with records from his own term in office. He suggested to Trump that the archives came back, he should not give up any additional records. Trump, quote, began obsessing over Fitton's arguments, complaining to aides about the 15 boxes that were handed over, and even asked Fitton at one point to brief his attorneys. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they love that one. As one person close to the ex-president put it, quote, the moment Tom got in the boss's ear, it was downhill from there. You know, it's like the overstock guy or the pillow guy. So Tom Fitton, professional right-wing scandal monger, appears to have facilitated the kind of black and white commission of an easily provable crime that Donald Trump on his own and so far managed to avoid. It's really an amazing feat of all people, Tom Fitton, who ended up putting Donald Trump in arguably the most acute legal power he has ever been in. Bravo! So just so we're clear, that's 15 months of obstruction to return the classified documents, and Fitton is the one who led Trump to do it. Oh, and by the way, no one should be surprised that Fitton is pro-Putin. This is how Tom Fitton responded to a video that Thomas Moscow Massey posted after the House passed a bill with aid for Ukraine. Disgusting. No, what's really disgusting is how that treasonous piece of shit Tom Fitton is still allowed to buy shirts in the Baby Gap without being arrested. Well, that's all for me today. Thanks so much for watching, and feel free to follow me at I am Gabe Sanchez. And if you'd like to support What Was That and get early access to episodes, you can contribute to my Patreon at patreon.com slash I am Gabe Sanchez. Thank you so much. So until next episode, I'm Gabe Sanchez, and this has been What Was That?